Now, welcome back to the show. Hello, my dear students. Yesterday, I was table snorkeling at the restaurant when I looked up at my friend and started laughing so hard as she had some serious quadro boobage. I mean, major. Anyway, she was telling me that she just discovered she had a Google Ganger. And then I found out that I had one as well. I was so upset. I said, let's go. And then my friend did some serious kidnappingage, saying she needed them for all the pop quiz all over her car windows. I told you I have the same problem with Kobe. Huh? And then she asked me what FMTYEWTK stood for. But I told her I'm not good with English and that she really needs to get all that crackberry. And then she agreed that there was definite truthiness to what I was saying, but that she wanted to be in constant contact with your key pals. What? You don't understand Sniglets? Dance Alcido and Word Lover over at my website were talking about Sniglets uh, when I decided to find out just what a Sniglet was. As it turns out, Sniglet is itself a Sniglet, a word that isn't in the dictionary, but should be. The word was coined by the comedian Rich Hall in his 1980s HBO show called Not Necessarily the News, where he mentioned new words or Sniglets that he felt should be in the dictionary. What's funny is that some of these sniglets ultimately do find their way into the dictionary, like crackberry, for example. Oh, by the way, and here is me right before the truncus. <laughs> some language experts think that making up sniglets is a good exercise for people, as it helps them learn how words are created and where they derive from. So, for your homework, can you think of some funny sniglets? If so, please write them in the comments below. And for extra credit, what the heck was I talking about in the intro? And what is the trunkers? <laughs> I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye. Be good.